The greenkeepers at this golf course are teed off with rabbits digging up the pristine turf. They've enlisted the help of Nicole Moore, shooting girl with an afro on Instagram. She lives nearby. She's even brought a fancy new night scope to get the job done. OK, all set up. I'm normally here a couple of times a week, um, just doing a handful each time, just to kind of um, keep on top of them for now. But yeah, we'll see. It's a, it's a new permission for me. Um, I call it permission. It is, it is pest control. And I've only been on it a couple of weeks, but every single outing, I've had half a dozen rabbits. So yeah, um, just within a couple of hours. He did a little bit of a run towards the nettles, but if I stick close to the edge, I should be able to get within, I reckon, 40 or 50 yards because there's some trees about that distance from him. So I should be able to tuck myself in, get a bit closer. You can see the damage when you're walking around that they do to the golf course, it's, it's pretty horrendous. I tend to come down just as dusk is settling and then into the night hours. So when I first arrived, the team were really friendly, really lovely. They took me out in the golf buggy and drove me around the whole course. I said I wanted to know where the boundaries were, where the houses were. Um, I'm shooting a 2-2, so, um, you know, that's really important. There's a road nearby, lots of houses around. So I wanted to kind of get a feel for it myself, but also at the same time they were showing me their problem areas. One of the hazards Nicole has to deal with is golfers hanging around after the course has officially closed for the night. It's funny, the first time I came here, there were golfers here two hours after um, the, effectively the closing time. And someone also walking his dog on the golf course, which I'm sure he's not allowed to do. Um, but I use my thermal, I have my um, pulsar here um, and it's the same as shooting anywhere. I just always make sure that it's safe. Um, I use the thermal for ranging as well. I can use the scope as a rangefinder. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. <laughs> so um, for now, I'll, I'll use the, the thermal, which is, is fine because I'm using it anyway in terms of finding the heat source and also checking that there's, there's no one else behind. You know, really, really essential to have in terms of safety when you're doing a, a job like this. Um, the one over there, two over there is handy. So I head that way if I can get any of them great. If not I can tuck in behind those two. Three. The rifle is a Seiko uh, rimfire. I have a feeling it's about 20 years old. It's always been really reliable. Um, I've always used this for rabbits and the scope is an ATN Excite day and night scope. And it's, it's definitely been a game changer for me just in terms of being able to stay out longer, stay out in the dark and ultimately shoot more rabbits. I think I've had it for, I don't know, 10 days and I absolutely love it. <laughs> I still haven't um, fully played around with all the settings, but the clarity on the scope is like, it's crystal clear when I get it right, which makes it easier for me, but also makes it safer. You know, I can take a shot with all the confidence in the world, you know, um, and, you know, ultimately I am doing this effectively as a job, you know, I am doing it for pest control. I'm not just doing it for, for pleasure and for filling my freezer. So, um, you know, I, I want to make sure that I've got um, the best kit that I can to, to get the job done um, in a safe and quick manner. You know, I don't want to be out all night shooting rabbits. I don't want to be spending hours and hours doing it. Um, so if I can get it done in a couple of hours and a kit like this just makes it easier for me, um, brilliant. So it's quite straightforward actually on, on this land. Basically I start at one end and I walk. Tend to find that within 50 to 100 yards, I happen upon the first group of rabbits. I shoot what I can, um, you know, one or two, and then the rest will, will normally run away. I'll wait for 10 to 50 minutes to see if they come back out. If they don't, I walk a little bit further. Again, 50 to 100 yards. I'll find another group and, and repeat, basically, until I get tired. And then I turn around and go back. 
the furthest rabbit I've ever shot um, is at 76 yards. I am, in terms of rifle shooting compared to the, the shotgun, I've only been shooting a rifle for maybe five or six years. Um, so to me, I'm not an expert when it comes to the rifle. So I, I'm someone that prefers to just shoot within my comfort zone. You know, so I'd rather, if I see a rabbit at 100 yards, I know people that can shoot them at 100 yards and more. Um, but that, um, I'm not skilled enough to do that. So I'd rather stalk in to... 40, 50 yards, much easier to do under the blanket of night um, at, and with a night scope. So yeah, I don't have, to, don't have to worry about it so much. The first time when I came into the clubhouse to meet the manager and, and the other, the green keepers, there were several dozen um, golfers in there and they all knew what I was there for and they all kind of came up and had a chat and, and weren't, they weren't bothered at all. You know, ultimately I'm, I'm helping them to have a better game um, and not be tripping over, you know, bad ground that the, the rabbits have disturbed and, and destroyed. And they're all very curious, made a few jokes about rabbit pies and things like that. <laughs> um, yeah, so far so good. Um, anyone that's kind of seen me whilst I've been out on the course has just left me to it. And so far, no complaints to the manager, as far as I'm aware. Um, the only thing that did happen a few nights ago was that there were golfers here with the floodlights on way after they were supposed to be here. And in the distance, they just saw my torch as I was heading back to the car with my feet illuminating across the, uh, the golf course. They probably thought there was a ghost or something. They did say, you scared the living daylights out of us and we were getting our, our um, golf clubs ready to, <laughs> to attack. Um, but no, otherwise, you know, I've, I've had no issues so far. And, and like I say, ultimately I'm here for their benefit, so. Six Saturday night, four Monday night, and three tonight, 13. So yeah, unlucky for some, not for the golf club. <laughs> I am someone that eats anything that I shoot. So um, yeah, I had, in fact, I had rabbit paella for lunch. Um, and there are a couple of green keepers who have asked for some rabbit themselves. So, you know, if I'm here on a day when they're here closing up, um, I will give a couple to them, which is, is lovely. I love that other people are, are eating this, this meat and it's not going to waste. Didn't see as many rabbits tonight as I have done in, in, in previous trips, but all three shots were instant kills, which is, is always the main thing for me anyway, no matter what game I'm shooting. And yeah, I've got three more rabbits for the pot. You can follow Nicole on Instagram, link below. And for all your pest control kit, go to kitfinder.co.uk.